Welcome to the morning offering, your daily call to prayer. Pray with us every day right here on the podcast and in your inbox. Learn more at morningoffering.com. Hey, y'all. Welcome to your morning offering. My name is Father Brad Doyle, and today is Saturday, October 5th of the 26th week in Ordinary Time. And it's a feast day, a lot of feast days. You know, every day has like multitude of feasts, but the one we're going to focus on is a blessed that's going into our altar. That's right. Our Lydia Mount Carmel today, as you're listening and praying with us, is dedicating their new altar, or <laughs> our new altar. And we have a relic of Blessed Bartolo Longo. So I'm going to tell you about him and his life. Before we do, let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh, Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world for the salvation of souls, the reparation of sins, the reunion of all Christians, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father this month. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed Bartolo Longo. <laughs> when I say his name, I always think of Buddy the Elf. Is Francesco, Francisco, that's fun to say, Bartolo Longo. Now, who was he? Well, the late 19th century, so that's the late 1800s. He's an Italian man who grew up in a Catholic family. Shocker. He, he's in Italy, uh, the, the home of the, the church, Rome's sweet home. And uh, he grew up faithful in a faithful family. And then he went off to college. And not unlike today, sometimes the college environment is not the best place to foster your faith. There's a lot of great colleges and college ministries, but even back then, some of the professors were striving to detach girls and boys from their faith. They were anti-clerical in Italy at the time or a certain section of society. And so his professors kind of detached Bartolo from his faith. He started professing agnosticism. Then he went to professing atheism. Now, there's a, a spiritual principle. It's that there is no spiritual void. Just like in nature, there's no vacuum. Uh, nature abhors a vacuum, if you will. And so something is going to fill it. And so Bartolo had these spiritual longings, but he didn't want to go the path of the faith. So he got into the occult, like seances and uh, sketchy occult things. And then he actually got into Satanism. And then Bartolo Longo, was ordained a satanic priest. His relic going on our altar. What does that mean? That means he must have had a conversion. His family was so worried about him, obviously. They sent a Dominican friar to him, and that Dominican friar and Bartolo spoke for two weeks going back and forth over arguments of the existence of God, and ultimately, he was won back to the faith through Our Lady's intercession and through confession. And he spent the rest of his life spreading the rosary. That was his mission. Pray the rosary. Pray the rosary. He's a holy man, and he's going to be canonized a saint, God willing, but he is a blessed. Bartolo Longo also did something else that's interesting. Have you ever heard of the Luminous Mysteries? John Paul II in the early 2000s, maybe it was 2000 exactly, promulgated the Luminous Mysteries. You know where he got them? The Journal of Bartolo Longo, when he was reading the journal of Bartolo Longo, the, the prayer journal, he found these luminous mysteries and then he spread them to the whole world. It's a beautiful story that no matter how far we are, maybe you are listening and you're in seances. Maybe you're dabbling with things you shouldn't. Maybe you've been in the occult and you're like, you just stumbled upon this, this video of this crazy priest. You're not far from God. He still loves you. He still has a mission for you. No matter what we've done, could be like Blessed Bartolo Longo and come back to him like the prodigal son. This is your reflection for today. If you like Morning Offering and it's helpful for you, then go to morningoffering.com and sign up so we can pray together each morning. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Thanks for listening today. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
The Morning Offering is a production of Good Catholic, the media division of The Catholic Company. For more faith-filled podcasts and videos, visit goodcatholic.com.